just enjoying running. I grew up on a farm and being able to run out in the country roads. And it, to me, it's very calming and it's a, a great way to relieve stress. And, uh, you know, the Lord blessed me with the ability to run and have some success at it. And, and I would say most people, whatever you find to do, whether it's sports or business or whatever, if you, if you are successful at it, uh, in terms of those you're competing against, against, then most people enjoy it. And I was fortunate enough to, to have that success, uh, even starting at an early age in high school. And, uh, but I, even if I didn't win races, I enjoy going out to run and just the feeling that I get from running. I broke it in 1985, in September of 1985 at the Philadelphia Distance Classic. And then uh, it was six years later when Dionisio Cerrone from Mexico um, broke it five or six years later at the same event and broke it by just a few seconds. And then I held the American record till well, it was 22 years later. That's when I, uh, and then Ryan Hall from the United States broke it. And I'm um, trying to think, uh, it was 2007, I believe. I've had glands swell up and then go down. This one didn't, so I went and checked it out and then uh, had a specialist look at it and they, they thought it was a blocked saliva gland. And so I said to watch it. So I watched it for, for a few months and had another cold and it got just a little bit bigger. That was in April of 2015. And so, and it, then it got just a little tender, like a bruise right there. So I went to the doctor last April, went back to him and they went through several tests. It was inconclusive. And then uh, finally they, uh, did CT scans on it and different things on it and finally decided to remove it and when they removed it then that's when they discovered it was uh, lymphoma. Then I had additional tests to determine it was stage 4 lymphoma. Finished my treatment in December and then had all the tests done afterwards and they have me uh, in remission as of January the 8th of this year so there's no quantifiable cancer showing with all the tests, but uh, with lymphoma, they never say that you're cured, but, but remission is a good thing.